Hey folks, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I'm going to show you real quick how to install piston rings onto a piston, okay? We are doing our little 2.5 liter Ford Ranger project here, and I'm just making a whole bunch of videos as we go through this thing, and hopefully this video will help someone out there, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I find it easier to sit down to do this, so I'm going to sit in the chair here as I do these uh, piston rings for you. We're going to start with the oil control ring, okay? and we're going to take the main spring part of the ring and we're just going to go ahead and put it on the put it in the oil control ring here um i'm going to turn the gap uh i'm actually probably just going to leave the gap i want to turn it actually toward one of the pins okay because i want to put my gaps for my uh oil control ring right here on my um on the skirt side of the piston okay so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and lay this down right quick helps to allow my legs to help me hold the piston i'm going to start it in the groove notice how i'm kind of holding this thing and we're going to kind of walk it around all right so we're going to take this piston ring and just kind of walk around by hand these are real easy to install okay so now that ring there is installed one thing you want to look out for you want to make sure that your spring ring doesn't like overlap itself okay and make sure that stays intact so now we're going to go and just turn the piston over 180 degrees to this side of the skirt. Let me reach up here and grab myself another ring here. Sometimes these things stick together. Yep, like that one. I've got two of them in my hand there. Let me put one of them back. Okay. Now we're on the opposite skirt. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lower ring on, okay? I usually stick the top one on first. It just seems to work out easier that way. Um, so now I'm in that bottom part of the groove and I'm going to go ahead and just roll this one right on around as well, just like so. Okay. So now we're installed. Oil control ring is installed and the, um, the two rings are 180 degrees apart. The gap, this gap is facing this skirt. We turn it around this way and here's our other gap right there. And once again, I'm going to double check the spring ring make sure it's not overlapped or doing anything weird and it looks really good okay so now let's go ahead and let me install the uh, second uh, compression ring okay so here we go now the second compression ring on this set of rings has a uh, spot on it marked top okay because it is a beveled ring on the bottom side there is a bevel here and they want, they, these have been designed to be at the bottom, okay? So our second ring, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the pin side here. Uh, double check, make sure I got top facing top, okay? And it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one corner of it in my second uh, ring gland, okay? Just like so. And then I'm gonna start rolling this ring right into place, okay? And as I get back, over this way, I'm gonna pull and tug on it so I don't scratch the piston, and voila, our ring is in place, okay? And it and it uh, moves freely in the gland. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the piston around 180 degrees. Daniel has handed me a ring for the top groove. The top groove ring does not have any marking on it at all. All four corners are squared off. So we will just go ahead and it doesn't matter which way it goes, okay? So we'll go ahead and hold it right here in the top groove. We'll get one corner started and we'll work it around about halfway and then we'll grab the ring and place it in the groove. And here we are, we're ready to go. Now, when you're finished here, you always want to double check, make sure it feels like the um, ring is moving freely in the, in the ring gland. And here's what I like to do for uh, this engine here. We're gonna put the gaps toward the pin. And so we got the top ring here. We got the other second ring gap is gonna be right here on this pin. And then our oil rings are on the skirt and they're 180 degrees apart as well, okay? And that's the way that we are gonna run this little stock engine. Um, now, there are on v8 engines there is some theory to putting all the rings on the 
all the gaps spaced out within 180 degrees on the top surface, I do believe is what guys like to do. And it keeps all of those rings away, all those gaps away from the thrust side of the piston. Um, but we're not dealing with a V8 today and we're not built when we're not dealing with a race car. So this is kind of the way I do it. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope your engine project goes well. Have a great day.